Well, hello there, and welcome aboard the Battleship. I'm the captain of this vessel, and I recently made a video about um, using color shift paint on a guitar. I've decided that this one is going to be more educational. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use color shift paint to paint this pick guard and back plate. This is going great. Anyway, let's do this thing. We must first prepare the surface to be painted. Most importantly, it needs to be clean. I'm using some glass cleaner to clean the surface. You can also sand the surface to help the paint stick, but I uh, have not had much success sanding plastic. And the paint seems to adhere fine without sanding, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Color shift paint must be painted on a black base coat to get the intended result. Unless your intended result isn't the manufacturer's intended result. If that's the case, then go nuts! Paint hot pink shift paint on brown camo for all I care. But I want the color that's on the cap, so a black base coat it is. When working with spray paint, it's good practice to spray outside. Well, wear your dang mask! The first coat should be a light coat. More or less, just to get the surface sticky, so the next coat will stick better. Does it actually help? I have no idea. But it doesn't hurt, so I do it. The next coat I lay on thicker. Thick enough to cover the surface, but not so thick it runs. I'm not a fan of the runs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the spray should start a couple inches from the edge of the object, and the spray should continue evenly until you've sprayed all the way past the other edge. Each pass should slightly overlap the previous one to help avoid missing any spots, like I did. Once the base coat is dry, you can start shifting your colors. Spraying the color shift paint is just like spraying any other spray paint. Try to spray it evenly from one edge to the other. It's recommended that you do two to three coats. Letting the paint dry 15 to 20 minutes between coats. I did three coats. Probably should have stopped at two, but I didn't. That's about it as far as how to do it goes. So I'm gonna let my trusty computer companion offer some fun facts about color shift paint. Thank you, Captain. The color shift effect is achieved by interfering with the reflection and refraction of light from the painted object surface. The paint contains tiny synthetic flakes about one micrometer thick. The flakes are constructed of aluminium coated with glass like magnesium fluoride embedded in semi-translucent chromium. The aluminum and chrome give the paint a vibrant metallic sparkle, while the glass-like coating acts like a refracting prism, changing the apparent color of the surface as the observer moves. Color shift paints contain no conventional absorbing pigments, rather, the pigment is a light interference pigment. This is why it is necessary to apply the color shift paint over a black base coat for maximum effect. Thank you, computer. Don't thank me. Thank Wikipedia. Oh, well, thank you, Wikipedia. That was a lot of words just to say it has tiny, shiny stuff in the paint. It looks a lot better in real life. If you enjoyed the video, do the subscribing thing. Seriously. Anyway, that's about all I got. Good luck on all the things. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave any questions, compliments, or hateful remarks in the comments below. It all boosts engagement. How about checking out one of the videos on the screen here? I'm sure at least one of them is related to this one in some way. Don't forget to feed your cat and have an absolutely fantastic day. Do the subscribing thing. <laughs>